the day after the 4th of July, I expected it to look like a battlefield or something out here this morning. My neighbor shot fireworks. <laughs> Let's crap in my yard. Uh, my neighbors shot fireworks for two hours. Oh, really over two hours. I mean, good night. How much did that cost? I'm gonna tell you what, two hours of fireworks going off. My poor dogs were about to have heart attacks. And you know what? I don't think when they actually signed the Declaration of Independence and sat down and voted on it. I don't think that took two hours. We spent two hours shooting off fireworks. Oh, good Lord. Now I need to cut my grass. I guess I'm gonna have to pick this up. We've come over to Marietta to check on a couple of things for Tammy's uh, feet or foot doctor and to get her some shoes. So we've been to the New Balance store uh, and we have been to the California Pizza Kitchen, which was really good. Um, seeing a lot of Range Rovers, Mercedes, Audis, Lexus, those kind of cars riding around. So it's nice to hobnob with the with the people over here in Marietta. Um, also, I like going into the uh, I like going into places like California Pizza Kitchen and the New Balance Store so that you can hear, you know, what kind of music's popular because. I really don't get to hear any other kind of music that's different than what I listen to on the radio. So when you go into a place like that, you kind of get to find out, you know, what's what's out there, you know, the popular music right now. And you don't hear it from your kids because, you know, when we were kids, you had a stereo. And so whatever you were listening to, everybody heard it, you know. So everybody knew the popular music in the house or whatever it was you were listening to because you had the stereo. Well, now they all got you know, earbuds and stuff, which I guess are apparently better than stereos. And uh, you don't know what they're listening to. So I don't know what the good music is right now, other than the music in the stores that we go in. Thank God for the music in the stores. Yeah, now that uh, my wife's out of the car, <laughs> you may be asking, why were you in California Pizza Kitchen? Uh, getting a salad, a salad. We got a $20 salad, split it. Uh, but now I have to say, I have to hand it to the people at California Pizza Kitchen. That was a good salad. That salad was worth $20, I think. Uh, plus, we got salad left over, so we'll be eating some of the salad tonight. But, but to get back to why am I eating a salad in the middle of the day, uh, we have decided that we are going to uh, lose some weight. And um, we are looking at the, uh, you know, the food groups, you know, the USDA puts out the thing about the food groups and all that. I did that one time and I ate like that for about a year. And I'm gonna tell you now, I lost a lot of weight. Uh, the big pain in the rear end is to make sure you get all of the vegetable servings for the day and all the fruit servings for the day. And then of course, you know, you can't stop at uh, Dunkin' Donuts and places like that and eat all that kind of stuff. So we're doing pretty good, but it's just been two or three days. Um, but uh, that's why we were in California Pizza Kitchen eating a $20 uh, salad but no, I had grilled shrimp on it. The diet reminded me of a story. I had a friend of mine uh, when I was in college and he, uh, he told me, <laughs> he came in, he said, man, he said, you're not gonna believe my dad. I'm like, well, what, what did he do? You know, what's wrong? He said, cause man, we were at home, you know, over vacation. And he said, I was riding down the road, you know, on the way home. And I, you know, there's this convenience store we always stop at. And, Man, I saw my dad's car out behind the convenience store. And I thought, what's he doing parked out behind the convenience store? That's, you know, that's weird. And I was thinking, oh man, this sounds bad. He's, man, his dad's back there messing around with somebody or, you know, doing drugs. I mean, all these horrible thoughts are going through my mind. Like, why would a man be parked behind a convenience store like he's hiding? And uh, I said, well, what'd you do? I mean, what was he doing? He goes, well, I'll I parked over there, you know, cause I wanted to see what was going on. And I snuck back there and I'm thinking, oh, this is not gonna be, this does not sound good. 
what's going on? He said, well, I, I, I snuck back there and he was, uh, he was eating fried chicken. And I'm like, what? he said he was eating fried chicken. I'm like, why was he eating fried chicken? He said, I, he said, well, my mom's got us all on a diet. And so apparently he's been going down to this convenience store every day and getting fried chicken and eating it in the parking lot. And I'm like, what, <laughs> what'd you do, man? I mean, uh, you know, what happened? He said, well, he said, I told him I wouldn't tell mama as long as he gave me some of that fried chicken. So he gave me half the fried chicken and I ate it. <laughs> but uh, that's the way it usually goes on diets. Uh, you know, especially if it's the, a wife induced diet, you know, if it's now, if you choose to go on a diet, you know, you, it's pretty easy to stick to, but when somebody else chooses for you to go on a diet, that's a little tougher. Like our daughters, they're not going along with the diet thing. Um, as a matter of fact, they were so upset with the food choices that they're, they're going out to get a job so that they can have some money to like get pop tarts. <laughs> which i'm happy because that means they're getting a job because uh here at nichols retirement empire the key word is retirement and uh i'm not getting paid like i've been paid in the past so they need to have a job they need to be making some money and you can contribute to nichols retirement empire uh, in any kind of way you want uh monetarily you know by subscribing however you want to however you want to do that but um Here's a popular song that we didn't hear in the California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah, I don't think a place that takes the time to like roast their little little kernels of corn and has the sun-dried tomatoes and roasted asparagus and what else do they have in it? Artichokes. Artichokes. Yeah, I don't think a place that makes a salad like that is going to be playing any Leonard Skinner. Uh, they probably, you know, they probably play something more like uh, 38 Special or maybe Bob Seger or something like that. Something a little more, you know, uptown.